Can the way we use our mind affect pain control, bleeding, even recovery from a surgical operation? Ladies and gentlemen, before I introduce my next guest, I'm going to show you a short video. It shows a woman having an operation for the removal of a tumor in her breast. Nothing very unusual about that, except that this woman is not under anesthetic of any kind, nor has she taken any form of painkiller. That is to say, during the operation, she is completely conscious, compass mentis, and if you're squeamish about medical matters, operations I'm talking about, I would advise you to be very careful. Going down now, I'm coming down now, and now we're going down to that floor, and everything really begins to fade out, and you're very safe and secure. We're so happy. And that means that nothing in the future is going to bother you in any way whatsoever. So how do you feel after all that? It's only a few minutes later. Absolutely wonderful. I can't help feeling wonderful. Mm. Um, it was just a terrific experience, I thought. Um, the more you talked, the further I got into it. And did you feel any pain at all? Absolutely nothing, just did nothing at all. Very happy with it, really. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's, it's, it's normally an operation that we need to sedate the patients and give them local anaesthetic for such a deep lump that yeah. there's a lump deep in the breast. Yeah. yeah. And then normally we uh, we would um, either give them a general anaesthetic or a local anaesthetic with mm -hmm. sedation. Mm -hmm. Definitely need post-operative painkillers, you know, in like Ponston and that sort of stuff. Yeah. So she's not had any form of anaesthesia at all. And yeah. have you any pain? Nothing. It's the type of anaesthesia. The subjects in our amazing. study totally relaxed and then focused all of their mind on not feeling pain. The mind then photographed that goal, and it became a reality. And if you get even more relaxed again, what you do is bring them to a point where all of their attention was on the understanding that they weren't going to feel any pain. So it would have to be at that degree so that their unconscious mind photographed that and there couldn't be a virus or a flaw in it. In other words, there couldn't be a part of their mind left over to say, that's ridiculous, that won't happen. And at this level, nothing whatsoever can bother you. In fact, even if we were to perform an operation on you at this level, it wouldn't bother you. Now, oh, even if we were to perform an operation at this very, very deep level, and that's what we can do for you. Now, after this, you'll feel wonderfully well in all respects, and you'll be delighted with yourself now. I wouldn't mind in the slightest bit now. Yeah. I mean, even if you were to stick the needle in or whatever you were going to, or even do the operation now, it wouldn't bother me in the slightest bit. Right. I wouldn't even feel nervous about that at all. And I'm relaxed. One of the great medical pioneers of our time in this area, Dr. Jack Gibson, supervised the operations. The operation is now over. Ah, oh, no. Not another five minutes. I really enjoyed it. Did you ever get anybody saying that to you before? No. <laughs> Yeah, we is just about some 45 minutes we yes. left the theater. Yes. This is the patient completely relaxed, talking with us, yeah. equally pain-free, smiling. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's yeah. a great achievement. I just say to you, I and, and if, if you hadn't have said to me to be careful, I would do a bit of a dance for you even. <laughs> so I want to confirm <laughs> OK, well, I just walk. Sit and cry around. Golly gee, what have you done to me? Well, I guess it doesn't matter anymore. You should have this thing called Call the Tune. <laughs> I was very aware of, of everything that was going on, right. but I was more interested in the singing. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I had no, actually no pain. Even if I, say for example, if I was giving local anaesthetic on several parts of the leg and I missed a spot, yes. and if I tried to do one of those little jar, little little holes yes. in the spot that I missed with local anaesthetic, the patient would complain and hit the roof. Right. So it's right. a very, very painful procedure, you know. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so it's not something you could just sit there and say, just no, no. going to grin and bear this. No, you could. No, 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 no. I've never come across anybody that could grin and bear it.
Right. And we've done a thousand this year. And were you pleased with the way? Oh, it delighted, delighted. She was in great shape. She was very happy having it done. She seemed to be marvellous afterwards.